Hey everybody, Harris here with iDownloadBlog. So it's been several days since the iOS 11.4 beta 4 came out for public testing and for developers. So this isn't anything about some crazy new features or anything that you would notice um, on day-to-day -day operations with the new beta update, nor is it anything crazy um, in general that has been updated. However, it is another step that Apple has taken towards security and in the age of Facebook and Google and Apple and every company having a lot of data concerns, this is something good to know um, and another thing that Apple is doing to protect its users' security and data. Okay, so what is this? So in beta 4 of iOS 11.4, Apple has a new security feature that your iPhone can only charge, meaning that it can't transfer data to a computer if your phone is locked or if your device is not trusted to the computer. So this means that if you plug in your phone to a computer and it is locked, you cannot get any data to or from it. You can only charge it. Or if your phone is not connected and trusted to the computer and allowing access, you cannot get data to or from it. And this is called USB restricted mode, which means it is restricted to only charging during this occurrence. And the other change is that it puts it in USB restricted mode if your device has been locked for more than a week. So if you lose your phone and it's been sitting around for a week or someone takes their time with trying to take your data, uh, they will not be able to access your data because it will only be allowing your phone to charge through the input. Now you've probably heard of Gray Key, which is an iPhone unlocking tool that can bypass passwords. It goes for around $15,000 and is a current and um, popular law enforcement tool that people, that law enforcement agencies and I guess crooks could also use uh, to bypass your passcode and get data from your iPhone. This tool was created by an ex-Apple security engineer, so someone who's been on the inside before, uh, and this tool basically allows you to bypass it. This is something that Apple does not like at all and they do not support with the San Bernardino incident a couple years ago, Apple has made it clear that they will not create backdoors for anybody. So this is another step in showing that Apple is not going to take your data or your privacy lightly. They're showing that if you have a device that hasn't been unlocked in a week, you cannot get data in a couple other circumstances where people cannot get data from your iPhone. They can only charge it with the new beta 4 in the USB restricted mode. So pretty simply, this isn't a huge update and nothing that you're going to notice in day-to-day -day life. But if you ever were to lose your phone or have it hacked or anything like that. Uh, this is now an extra step of security for keeping your data safe. So good job, Apple. They look like one of the few companies that really look out for the privacy and security of their users. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. And if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Until the next one, thanks for watching.